Good evening, Matt Wordsworth with ABC News. Partly in anger and partly in pain, the man who wants to become Prime Minister has shown rare public emotion, reflecting on his mother's legacy. Bill Shorten unleashed a lengthy spray at a newspaper which accused him of selectively presenting his mother Anne's life story. At times he choked up as he denounced News Corp and even won the sympathy of Scott Morrison, who agreed the parents and children of candidates should remain off limits in this campaign. Political editor Andrew Probin is in Parliament House. My mum is the smartest woman I've ever known. The election gets very personal. She's brilliant. And that's what drives me. Bill Shorten roar with emotion after a hatchet job in Sydney's Daily Telegraph newspaper, asserting the Labor leader had glossed over his late mother's short career as a barrister to talk up his own working-class roots. I miss her every day, but I'm glad she wasn't here today to read that rubbish. Just rubbish. His mother, and Shorten, wanted a legal career. They didn't have the money to pay for her tuition to go to university. She had to take a teacher scholarship. But in the 1980s, with her twin boys at school, she started law, graduating at 51, topping her year. What I did on Monday night is I explained who I am. I explained what drives me. Mr Shorten has referenced his mother and his admiration for her throughout his political career most recently on Monday's Q&A programme. Who do some people in News Corp, who do some of these lazy people think they are? That because they think that I explained myself at Q&A on a Monday night, that they play gotcha shit about your life story, more importantly my mum's. This is a very upsetting story and I, I can understand uh, that Bill would have been very hurt by that story. So I'd say to whoever thought they organised a political hit on me in the election to cast some doubt, I can hear my mum now say, don't worry about that rubbish. Bill Shorten today revealed more about himself and the man behind the politician than perhaps at any time during his six years as Labor leader. In doing so, it stands to become one of the defining moments of the election campaign, although it'll have no influence on the 1.4 million Australians who've already voted. The risk of spontaneous upset and offence only goes up from here. Paul Keating is not an isolated figure oh, in terms on. of the attitude Speaking of not there. being partisan. Simon Birmingham's suggestion that the former Prime Minister might have signalled a pro-China bias by a future Labor government drew a response of utter contempt. Please put your hands together. And they are supposed to be friends. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra. And later this hour, Scott Morrison and Bill Shorten go head to head in the third debate of the election campaign, hosted by the ABC's Sabra Lane at the National Press Club. It begins at 7.30 on ABC TV.